Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. Hey everyone. Um, pretend that I have a starting soon screen song. Song? <laughs> pretend that I have a song on right now. Okay. Guys, I'm like literally brushing my hair and um, I'm so freaking out right now. I don't even know if anyone can hear me. I don't even know if anyone's here. Oh god. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. So I'm like so freaking out right now, guys. Um, first off, thank you all so much for 100k. This is absolutely amazing. Like, I'm, I'm like so shook. Um, thank you all so much. <laughs> and, oh, I think this is kind of broken. Hold on one sec. Uh, okay, I fixed it. Um, thank you all. Oh my god, I love you so much. Second off, uh, we are about to witness something that is going to change the Wizard 101 community. Like, legit. Like, straight up. The Wizard 101 community is about to be changed with Ravenwood Rising. Oh my god, I've been working on this. I'm also brushing my hair. Um, and I wanted to like start, I wanted to like talk during this because uh, I'm not fully ready yet, but like I, I have to like, like I have to start my stream. Okay, anyway. Oh my god, DJ Boris, thank you. Oh my god, I love you. Oh my god, thank you so much. Oh my god, 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 thank you. <laughs> You're so amazing. Thank you so much. Wow. I love you so much. Thank you. Yes, we got 100k. It's it's like amazing. Um, Today's a huge day. I'm not even gonna lie. I have been so preoccupied with like, like Ravenwood Rising and everything. I, I've just been so preoccupied. Oh my god. And I didn't even get to like celebrate 100k. But thank you so much. Um, Guys, go to Realm Pixie. Go to Realm Pixie in the comments if you want to celebrate with me. Oh my god, okay. I'm gonna switch over now. Hey, um, let me get Wiz up to. I'm literally brushing my hair because I started my stream like, I mean, I started it on time, but I also like started it late because like I love to talk. So <laughs> I have a big knot in my hair, guys. It's, it's just been such a, such a like, such a big day. Oh my god, it's been such a big day. I've been working nonstop on finishing touches for Ravenwood Rising. I literally didn't even get to brush my hair. Um, and yes, whenever we hit 100k, I like, I didn't even get to like fully in, indulge myself in the subscriber celebration. I didn't even get to like indulge myself in it because I'm like getting so many like last minute things done for this. I, I've put um, a month's worth of work into this into this thing that you're about to watch a whole month's worth of work has gone into ravenwood rising and guys i whenever i tell you that this is something that i'm very proud of i'm, I'm not lying i'm being very honest this is something that i'm very 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 proud of so whenever this is done whenever ravenwood rising is done and whenever this stream is done like, you know, the stream entirely. Cause like, we're gonna do like a little like Q and A afterwards. Um, whenever the stream is done, I will take a minute to just calm down, relax a little bit and allow myself to celebrate with a hundred thousand subscribers. <laughs> Thank you all. I, I know that, um, what is this? Let me close out that, okay. I know that a lot of the subscribers that we have are not players of Wizard 101, and that's like, that's completely fine. But one thing that I will say though, is um, I believe that I had around 25,000 subscribers before I started posting YouTube shorts. And that's like, a, that means like a quarter of my subs are from Wizard 101. So this, this series goes out to the 25,000 who play Wizard 101. <laughs> this goes out to them and to everyone else who's here and you don't play Wizard 101. Welcome in. Thank you so much for subbing. I hope you love my YouTube shorts and I love you. And and you literally have helped me grow to reach my like my all-time goal of 100k. It it doesn't feel real. I um I will be I will allow myself time tonight to just, ah, just soak it in. I've, I've been so antsy today. I've been so antsy. But anyway, <laughs> oh my 
my goodness. And, and DJ Words, um, I think your dono didn't, it should have gone off on this screen, but I turned them off on this one because I didn't want the donos to go off during this um, thing. But DJ Words, thank you for the $50 super chat. How amazing, it, how amazing. I, I can't even, I just, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. It'll hit me. I mean, it, it has kind of hit me, but like it hasn't like hit me, hit me. But anyway, ah, oh my God, are you guys excited? Are you excited? Here, let me go ahead and um, pin something. If you guys want to do a little Q and A, um, Q and A for Ravenwood Rising. If you want to do a little Q and A, I will pin that here. After the episode is done, I will be answering questions about the episode and the series itself. Um, go to Realm Pixie in the comments if you want to hang out with us. Um, you should also not only have my stream up, but you should also have like the series, like the video itself up because I'll um, I'll be like reading the chat and you'll be able to see yourself in the chat too. So, so like watch my stream and the series, the video, okay? Just watch them both. Thank you. <laughs> it helps me with the algorithm. And um, that's really why I want you to go there. But also, I'll be able to see you. You know, like, I'll be able to see you over here. So, ah! Oh, my God. I'm, guys, I felt like I was going to throw up. I, I had to take a shower before my stream started. And um, this is so, like, so much is going on today. I just, I can't, I can't. I had to take a shower before my stream started. But I let my dogs out uh, before I got in the shower. And then whenever I let them back in, their feet were all caked in mud. So then I had to like, I had to like wash their feet off. And then I had to get myself in the shower and oh, it was so much. There's just so much happening today. I just breathe deep. Okay. Breathe deep. Everyone take a deep breath with me. <sighs> breathe <sighs> deep okay oh also I did a self tanner I don't really think you guys can tell but um I did a self tanner and it it did work a little bit but um it made my skin really dry and it looks like I have alligator skin uh so that's cool yeah everything is just <laughs> okay <sighs> okay oh my god I kind of sounded like a whiz spell all right let's put this um, let's make this big, I think. Where should I put my whiz? Maybe I can put whiz, like, up here. And we can put this right here. I wish I could put the live chat on the other side, but you know what? It's fine. Watch party vibes. Oh my god, we need, like, a pink background. I got this. Hold on, I got this. I know we have, like, 60 seconds, but... We have actually like two minutes because um, there's going to be a little countdown. So <laughs> I've got time. <laughs> I prepared for this. I I had to, uh, I knew that I was going to be late as I always am. So I made sure to do like a countdown. So. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. 
Yeah, that scared me too, Alan. I, I almost just... I almost just had a heart attack. Like, oh my god. My heart's beating. I'm scared. <laughs> my heart is beating. Is that normal? Is it normal for my heart to beat? I'm scared, I'm scared. Okay, shut up. Okay. <laughs> okay. I can't, I can't. I'm gonna throw up, I can't. <laughs> Help me! Oh, oh my god. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, I'm throwing up, okay, bye. Okay. I love you guys, bye. Good morning, Luna. How are you feeling today? Nervous? I just... She should be. She looks like a big fail pip. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Don't be too hard on your sister, Tyler. We all want more of those white robes. I have the photos to prove it. I can pull them out if you want. No, no, no. That won't be necessary. Uh, I remember my first day at Ravenwood. Grandma and Grandpa were convinced I would be a pyromancer, yet here we are. Scored 97% in thaumaturgy. Tyler. What about you? Were you nervous about your quiz results? Well, I knew it was between myth and ice, and since ice is obviously the best of the seven schools, it only makes sense for me to be a thaumaturge. <laughs> and a boy. I don't even care what school of magic I get. I just want to get it over with so you guys will stop asking me about it. Now, Luna, I'm sure you will be an excellent wizard no matter your school. Uh, if only your mother were here to see this day finally happen. <sighs> yeah. I wish she was too. Hey mom. I don't know if you can hear me up there. Today's my first day at Ravenwood. I know you'd be proud if you could see me. Everyone is so eager to know what school I'll end up being. I think Tyler and Dad are hoping I'll be ice like them. I don't really care what the results are. But I am a little nervous. You know how hard it is for me to adjust to new things. I guess I get that from you. Anyway, I wish you were here with me. Wish me luck. One ticket to Ravenwood, please. One ticket, coming right up. <sighs> Off we go. Assistant. Everyone in my family is a Dark Wizard, so I already know that's what I'll be. Please be Storm. Please be Storm. Are you nervous too? Oh, me? Um, maybe just a little. Alrighty, everyone, listen up! Welcome to your first day here at Ravenwood School of Magical Arts. I am Erica Haven, your student wizard president, hand chosen by Ambrose himself, and I will be in charge of your school quizzes. Remember, each school is unique in its own way. Be proud of your results and have fun with the magical spells that each school has to offer. <laughs> oh, and when you have completed your quiz, you can head on over to your dorm room where you'll be met with your new uniform in accordance with your school colors. Any questions? No? Okay. This is it. No turning back now. Which best describes you? Well... I'm not that creative, I'm not athletic, I definitely could benefit from studying harder. My favorite animal? Owl isn't even on here. I just don't get it. None of these make sense. Is this some sort of prank? How is everyone already finished? Hey, uh, uh, uh... Luna. It, it's Luna. Right, so is there like a problem with your quiz or something? Because I noticed it's taking you a really long time to complete it, and I kind of have a tour I'm supposed to be guiding, and... Um, sorry, here. Ah, thanks. Let me just go analyze your results real quick, and... Huh. Huh? Oh! Nothing! No, this can't be right. Surely something is wrong. This is obviously just a fluke. I've helped dozens of students, and I've never seen this before. What is it? Uh, just... Hold on. Master, 
I know you told me to only use the crystal ball to contact you in case of emergencies, but this is a really big emergency. It says in con Lucid. Yes, I'm sure. Her name is Lotta or something like that. Uh huh. But are you sure? Okay. Thanks, Headmaster. So, Lana, it appears that you're just going to have to wear your white starter robe for now. I know it may be a bit of a disappointment, it's but. Luna. What? Well, you said Lana, but. It's Luna. Right, Luna. I'm usually really good with names, but, you know, with meeting so many new wizards today and being the headmaster's assistant, of course, there's lots on my brain. <clears throat> anyway, I have a tour to give, and you won't want to miss out on it. Out this way! Why is she still in white? Did she forget to take a quiz or something? Ew, look at that girl over there. <laughs> What a loser. Hey, how'd your test go? Did you struggle to answer the questions at all? Nope, not at all. That'd be silly. It's not a real test. Wait, did you? Okay, I know this sounds weird, but it felt like I was trying to read Grizzleheim runes. I admit that I didn't really go into this expecting a specific school, but I didn't resonate with any of them. Yikes, I scored 100% in life. But I already knew I would. All the girls in my family are theurgists, and the boys are sorcerers. It's been that way ever since my great-great-great-grandparents. Well, except for my great-uncle. He was fire, but we don't talk about him, because we're pretty sure my great-grandma may have had the hots for a handsome pyromancer back in the day. <sighs> poor great-grandpa. Uh, yeah. Poor guy. I'm Cassie, by the way. Cassie Day. Well, Cassandra is my real name. But no one calls me that, aside from my mom when she's angry. I'm Luna. Well, Luna, I wouldn't worry too much about your quiz results or lack thereof. I'm sure you'll get it all figured out soon. Yippee, everyone! Welcome to campus! student wizard president and a headmaster's assistant and it is an absolute pleasure to have the honor to share this magical place with all of my fellow students you can think of me as your big sister here i've been here at ravenwood high for the past two years and i know pretty much everything there is to know i hate to brag but i'm almost level 15 and have helped everybody out here i've even trained into a couple other schools I know Snow Serpent, Blood Bat, Fire Elf, Infection, and- We get it. You're a teacher's pet. <laughs> I worked hard for my position. <sighs> anyway, so if you ever have any questions or concerns, I am always here to help. Now let's get on with the tour. It's about time. <laughs> So, over here is the Storm School. Me and Halston are on a first name basis, but you guys will refer to him as Professor Bailstrom. Just be careful not to walk too close to Torrance unless you have an umbrella. I made that mistake way too many times as a new wizard. <laughs> and over here is the Fire School. Well, well. Look who failed her first test. <laughs> as if you didn't already stick out like a sore thumb. Now you really have all eyes on you, and not in a good way. Leave her alone, Sarah. She didn't fail it. She's just... She's just what? Inconclusive? <laughs> I'd be so embarrassed if I were you. Oh, first day at Ravenwood, and you're already behind. What a shame. You know everyone here is talking about you, right? <laughs> totally. <laughs> Couldn't be me. Well, now we're all gonna be behind because someone is holding us back from our tour. <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> Oops. Come 
Come on, guys. Later. Failure. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. I can't believe her. We have to go straight to Ambrose. No, we... no, we don't. I don't want to draw even more attention to myself than I already have. We can't just let Sarah get away with that. When she sees that she can bully you, she will turn everyone here against you. How do you even know her? Well, my mom owns that hat shop in the shopping district, and I help with the sewing repairs most of the time. I know pretty much everyone in the city, the circumference of their head, what their shampoo smells like, and... Oh, ignore that last part. Uh, anyway, Sarah is not someone you want to let run you over. I knew she'd be put in the school storm. I just knew it. Well, she sure did a lot of damage to my glasses, so I guess it's fitting. It's okay, really. Let's just go. I don't want us to get in trouble. Luna, I've been wondering when you would get home. Tell me all about your first day. Grandma and Grandpa, I've been certain you would come home a conjurer, but I just have to see for myself. Oh no, no, no. He's gonna see. He's gonna know. Oh, Luna, you must have forgotten to change into your school uniform. Do you need to ride back to campus to pick it up? No, Dad. Uh... D uh did, did they forget to give you your new uniform? That doesn't sound like Ravenwood. No, they didn't forget. They just... couldn't. They couldn't? What, 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 did I just run out of your size or something? No, I didn't get my school results. I overheard the student wizard president talking to the headmaster today. She said that I'm inconclusive. Inconclusive? Uh, I've never heard of that before. Are you sure that's what you heard? That's what I heard. I'm positive. Surely it was a mistake on their part. I want you to talk to the headmaster first thing tomorrow morning. Do you understand? And... But wait a sec, where are your glasses? Oh, I just decided I wanted to try my contacts out. Um, and Dad, don't tell the rest of the family about this, okay? Please just wait until I get it sorted out. Okay, sweetie. <laughs> you know, if there's ever something you need to tell me, I am here for you. I know, Dad. Thanks. <sighs> this was not how I expected my day to go. Yeah, there's no fixing these. At least I've got backup. I never loved wearing these. There was always a sense of comfort in hiding behind my glasses frames. But I guess now I don't have a choice. Jeez. I forgot how weird these felt. What? Luna, you okay? What the heck? Uh, yeah, Dad. I'm fine. I, uh, I just broke a nail. I don't understand. To be continued. stream <sighs> guys so that's what um that's what one month of non-stop work looks like <laughs> oh my god so <sighs> okay first off let me know your thoughts what you guys think about it what did you think here let me pull the stream up over here so that way i can look at it hold on let me see <clears throat> welcome to afk okay 
Sorry, I had an ad. Okay, oh my god, so you liked it? Oh my god, hold on. <clears throat> I've got phlegm in my throat. Oh, okay, so <laughs> that was so good. That was amazing. I'm obsessed. The quality it was amazing. <laughs> it's so cute. It was so good. It's going to be so big. That was so good. Amazing work. Thank you. Oh my god. I wish you could binge watch too. Oh my god. Okay, so that took me a whole month to make. It took me a whole month to make. Um, if you guys have questions that you would like me to answer, fill out the pinned message form. Wait, I don't even know if I can <clears throat> look at those because I didn't make that. Dustin, can you um, invite me to read those with you? Oh my god! Okay, let me put the donations back on. <sighs> What's the release schedule? Good question! Um, so, I literally don't know. Um, I think I'm gonna take a few days break before I even start to work on the, um, hold on, I'm looking to see. Shared with you, open. There we go. Okay, I think I'm gonna take a few days break before I even start to work on episode two. So episode two is done. Like, it's done in terms of the script. I mean, I might edit like a little bit more, but like the script itself is done. Um, so really, I guess I could probably take a few days to just like fix like little tiny tweaks and stuff and then send out the um vocal lines that's obviously the first thing that i do and then i take my editing program and i edit the scenes one by one and like put them in like a conversation and stuff um and then whenever i do that then i go to filming and actually ironically filming takes the longest Filming took a really long time. I thought that editing was going to take the longest, but, like, it didn't really. I mean, maybe maybe editing the vocals into a, into a track took a little bit longer, but, like, editing the clips itself and lining it up with the vocals was not hard at all. It, it was so easy, and it was not very time-consuming at all. Um, filming, though. Whew, that was hard. That was hard, especially like getting people together to do it. That that was hard. It took a long time, but we got it done. Um, okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and um, well, I guess I'm gonna go ahead and get in a call with my producer and co-writer. Um, my co-producer and co-writer. So the funny thing about this is that Kamoka and I watched LPS Popular. I don't know if you know what LPS Popular. You probably don't. LPS Popular, it's like a series that was really popular back in like the 2010s. And um, it was like literally Euphoria, but with Littlest Pet Shops. Like it was literally so, it was so good. Oh my God, I loved it. Um, and it was like really iconic. So Kamoka messaged me and was like, hey, you should like try to do this. But like in Wizard 101, and I was like, oh, yes, yes. So um, we did it, and then I wrote script one, but I was like, I feel like, like I feel like this could be tweaked a little bit. And then I heard Dustin, my mod, saying that he used to write fanfic, so I was like, oh, let me get Dustin in on this. And he helped uh, rewrite and tweak a couple scenes, which was really, really nice. Um, you should have seen what they looked like before. They were not, they were not slay, but like whenever Dustin came on, they were so slay. So anyway, uh, let me get in a call with my people. They might be really loud. Get yourselves prepared. They might be really loud. I don't know. I hope they're not, but I don't know. They might be. Um, let me add Dustin. Okay. Hey. Hey. <laughs> oh my God. Hey. Oh my God. <laughs> did, you, did you guys like it? What did you think about it? Because you guys haven't seen it. Well, I mean, I, you just saw it now, but you didn't see it before. I thought it was amazing. It, it made me so happy. It was everything I wanted in oh, like a series, you know? Really? Yes. Oh my god, thank you. What was your favorite part? My favorite part, honestly, was uh, everything, actually. I actually loved animation parts. Like, the fact that you were able to do that was amazing it made it like Aww. even like better than you know somehow like just it, you, you could not get any better but it did it just happened Aww, to get better thank you thank you so much dustin what was your favorite part um this is so biased but the part where after the um like when 
Luna comes out of the testing and Cassie's going on a rant. Was oh yeah. Probably my favorite part because I remember writing in the script and telling you like we should make her basically yeah. go on a rant. And mm -hmm. that came out so well and obviously like the animations I'm I was like <laughs> smiling and like my mouth was just wide open the entire time. Really? Yeah, like everyone did such a good job on the voice I acting. I know, like, it's right? Crazy. Like I'm I know. so happy with it. Same. I I was so shook. Um I think I'm gonna go ahead and share the Discord calls so that way people know. I mean, your voices are pretty different, but I'm gonna share it anyway, just in case people <laughs> aren't able to tell the difference. But I'm sure they are. You're um, ugly. You're disgusting. I'm gonna kill you. Give me two hundred dollars. Thank you so much. I love you. Thank you for the dono. All right. So everyone, these are my um, co-producer and co-writer these are my co-producer this is my co-producer and co-writer yeah. uh kamoka is the one with this icon and then this one is dustin so we're gonna go ahead and um go over your guys's questions together does kamoka have access to the questions uh, no, got, i can give it to you if you want uh, also chat um let me know i adjusted their volume i don't know wait, if they're kamoka, still too loud but let me know email in the thing and i'll quickly add it okay i don't know if they're still too loud but i tried to turn them down in comparison to my voice so it's like they're a tad quiet okay let me turn them up a little bit um okay i turned them up more can you guys say something okay Hello. something something okay. okay something let me know if that's uh, better okay you should have access now Okay, let me check it again. Let's see. I think you have to go to your... Well, actually, I don't know. I, I went to my email and it gave it to me. But... I think I got them. Yeah, I got them. Oh. Okay, cool. <clears throat> so, the first question that I see on here... Oh, is mine! Is yours? <laughs> the... Being ding, by ding, being. Ding. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> do, you, do you think that I could just share this screen? Do you think uh, that I can... Yeah, yeah. Well, probably. You're yeah. ugly, you're disgusting, I'm gonna kill you. Give me $200. Oh, no, 100k Thank you. on the same day as the first right. TPS Ravenwood Rising is crazy. Amazing job, everyone. Thank you. Thank you so much. I felt the same way. I was like, there's no way that I'm gonna hit 100k on the same day. Like, I don't. I didn't even have time to to be excited about it. It just happened. I, I, feel, like, like, it was, I feel like it was oh. almost fate, you know? Like, it was supposed to yeah. happen. Yeah, it's crazy. Okay, so the first question that we're going to answer is, Hey Ash, love your videos so much. I don't know what Ravenwood Rising is, but who was your inspiration for your vids? I think we already answered that, but um, it was the YouTuber who made LPS popular. Um, Sophie I think, Garrett, I think? Sophie yeah, GTV. Yeah, Sophie GTV. She is literally what inspired me to do this because lps popular was so good guys yes. if you haven't watched that go watch it it's so good <laughs> um the next question is um wait what the heck where did the questions go <laughs> did it race what'd you do it, it, it restarted because someone else uh other people are adding oh well. okay um, but the next one that i see or well, the one wait because your order is different to mine Oh. Uh, on the one I have is on a scale between one to ten. How difficult was this oh, process, see. and is there anything you would change about it? Um, so for me, on a scale of one to ten, how difficult was was it? Uh, it's not necessarily that it was that difficult. It was just really, really time consuming. Cause like I've, well, I've never done something where I like casted voice actors and stuff. Um. But, like, obviously I've done years and years of editing, so that, that wasn't too hard. I, I don't, like, I guess if I had to say how difficult it was, maybe, like, four, five? Like, it, it was really not that bad. And is there yeah. anything you would change about it? Yes, I would, but um, it's something that, like, I can do, really. But I would try, like, if I could, I would try to make it, like, even better quality. Um, but you know, whiz graphics are whiz graphics. I can't change yeah. how they look. Right. <laughs> I can't change they're, that. They're, they're gonna be a little bit pixelated sometimes, but... Yeah. 
I, I did everything on my part that I thought was, like, good. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I think yeah. the script was... Like, I think there were parts of it that were hard, but I think it also came... Because... So when, obviously, I came into it, you'd already written the kind of, like, the like the base of it and how you wanted it to go. So, like, for yeah. me, the direction of where we wanted to go wasn't hard. It mm -hmm. was, like, having to go from that and then make it better, which in some of it was really easy. And then, but because, obviously, throughout the process, we would talk to each other and suddenly there was something that didn't make sense or something we wanted to change. So we then would have to go back to the script to change that to make it make sense. Yeah. Um, it wasn't difficult. It just sometimes became like stressful because you were like, oh, like I now have to think about this part, but then also right. have to remember to change it in, for example, other scripts that have been written. Which, by the way, guys, only episode two has been written, so don't even think that we've done that far. Oh, yeah, we, we we literally haven't even we haven't even started episode three. But I know exactly what I want episode three and episode four to be about. Episode yeah. four, if it goes well, is going to be something that a lot of people are are going to like. Um, I I have a lot of ideas for both of those, but yeah, episode three will be fun. Um, episode two will also be fun. They'll all be fun. Um, oh my god, yeah. Ash, can we? Yeah? Can I talk about where Ravenwood Rising came from? Oh my god, yeah, go for it. Okay, so because I can't remember what originally it was well, called. Well, we did... let, let me. <clears throat> yeah. Let me say this and then you can go on because you're actually like Dustin's literally the one who thought of the name Ravenwood Rising like it was literally Dustin so Kamoka and I were trying to figure out a name for it and um, we were like hmm, like should it be like popular 101 should it <laughs> yeah. be like Ravenwood High like yeah. we didn't know what to name it and then that's when we asked Dustin and now Dustin you can say what you were gonna say now so I don't know if um, well, I guess we can say as much now because obviously at the end of episode one you guys saw. Um, so Ravenwood obviously comes from it being based in Ravenwood, but the rising part was where I really went in deep, you know? Like, so we were looking at, so Luna is, should I say it, Ash? Um, I mean, I, I think, I think they saw it. Wait, hold on. Guys, did you see what, what was on Luna's cheek? at the end of episode one, before we say anything. <laughs> did, did you see it? Did you see what was on her cheek? You know what? Let me pull up the thing and show you guys. Let me just show them. Oh, and and Mona? Also bring up the, um, the big, like, cover art thingy. Yeah. Yes, too. yes. Also, yes. Mona, Mona, like, Wizard One Popular was actually one of my ideas. I was like, maybe we should do Wizard One Popular, but then I'm like, I don't want to copy so Sophie. Yeah. You know? <laughs> yeah, but that, we were thinking about that one, actually. Something like yeah, that. Yeah. Okay. So were. people know that it's a moon. Okay, cool. So, okay. so before even the title had come out, I think you, you were playing into the idea of obviously the moon and like the moon school and stuff like that. So I was like, mm -hmm. okay. So what if we did Ravenwood Rising because the moon rises and we were also going in terms of how Luna is going to grow and evolve as the story goes on. So I was like, Ravenwood Rising just makes sense because the moon rises and it's also just, I can't remember the word for it. She, but she's going to be like rising through like the social like hierarchy ladder, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So I just yeah. like the word play on it, like, I was so impressed with myself when I came. I'm up so with impressed it. with you too. Like that was so good. So that, was that is where amazing. Ravenwood Rising comes from. And if you guys see the cover art, so I'll pull that up too. with all of the characters in. There's also obviously like the moon and stuff like that within that art. So you guys should definitely play pay close attention to those type of things because there's going to be like questions. like little little Easter eggs in there yes. too. Yes. Yeah. So these are the um, these are the characters, and she has a moon on her cheek there. Um, also, this is the thumbnail for episode one. If you didn't see it, hold on, let me find it. Um, and she's touching <laughs> the moon, which is showing in the reflection. And if I'll just go show you this part again. She saw the moon um, in the reflection. It wasn't actually like on her, and you can see that in this part. After she like 
puts in her contacts and she looks in the mirror. She sees it there, but then like it's it's not actually there. Whenever they like whenever the camera turns back, it's not actually on her cheek. It was just like she thinks it's a vision, basically. It's a vision. And then it fades away. It's not there anymore. It's a vision. So um, basically, it, it's kind of, and then another thing as well, um, is this part. I don't know if you guys are like, like real whiz heads and you caught on to this, but, um, Storm 0, Ice 33.3, Fire 0, Death 33.3, Myth 33.3. I don't know if you understood that, and, and maybe it went by too fast, but the three, it, it's all because... The school of moon is literally made up of those three different schools. It's made up of ice, death, and myth. So, inconclusive because it's not like it's inconclusive. They've it's moon. That's not one of the seven schools. So, that was um, that was fun. And uh, I don't remember what question we were answering. Honestly, I just started we going were, off. We were How the, uh, difficult the process was. Yeah. Oh, well. <laughs> There you go. <laughs> there you go. That, that was a really long um, answer that didn't even really answer that. But yeah, yeah. It, it didn't mean to. So a few <laughs> of the questions also ask um, how many episodes will there be and how long will each episode be? So I don't know how many episodes there's going to be. I'm going to make the episodes until I either want to end the season or I just decide that I'm done and I just want to conclude it. I can promise you though that I'm not just going to like make one episode and then never have motivation and like leave you guys on a cliffhanger. Like I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to abandon this project. Um, but I don't know how many episodes there's going to be. I know there's going to at least be four because I already have like four different ideas for the next three episodes. So yeah. um, in terms of how long they're going to be, I would assume they'll probably be like around the same length, like 10 minutes. I would say around there because this one was like 13 minutes with the outro and stuff so yeah i would say like 10 minutes i'd say um i see this question that's literally what we just answered so yes the 33 on death ice and myth moon blades yes yes that that is i'm glad you caught on <laughs> um okay so here's a question that i want to ask dustin and kamoka who is your favorite character so far? Because there's lots of characters that are in the cover art that you guys haven't even met yet. So of the ones that you've seen so far, who is your favorite? Um, honestly, my personal favorite, I I love all of them individually. They're all like they're like our children, honestly. Like I love them mm -hmm. all. But I have to say, Cassie Day, she is my girl. I, I love her. I love her spirit. I love her kindness. She's a great character. She is amazing. She is my favorite. Number yeah. one. I like her a lot too. Who do you like, Dusty? Uh, it's like, it's so hard to say because I also helped write their personalities. Mm -hmm. So it's like, I love all of them. Like, as Kamoka said, like, they're our babies, you know, we created them. So, but I have a, I have a thing for Sarah. Just I like her, I like her sassiness. But then obviously mm -hmm. Cassie is just, she's just like, oh, she's just full of love, you know? Yeah. yeah. And yeah, she, Erica, she's gonna be a good like, character. I can't lie, I think Erica has to be my favorite character at the moment. Yeah. Just, she's just, I don't know what it is about her, but she is just amazing. It's so <laughs> funny, because whenever we wrote Erica and Cassie, we, like, it was kind of hard because I wanted to, I wanted to make them both, like, high energy and like happy characters and it was kind of hard at first like making them different i was like oh my god how do i make these characters like have like happy personalities but them not be the same but i think it ended up turning out really well because cassie is literally just happy and genuinely a really nice sweet character and erica is high energy and but she's also a little bit like egotistical, you know, she's the headmaster's assistant and she'll let everyone know about that. So I, I'm i glad that we were able to like really differentiate them, but I can see why yeah. you like both of them. Um, I think we made it definitely like a thing that we wanted every character to have very different, very unique personalities that we didn't yeah. want them to cross at all. Yes. But I think you'll find that also 
their, their personalities do merge in some ways, but you'll still be able to see very clear distinctions and obviously mm -hmm. just like with how they talk. Yeah. So yeah, you have to be on also, the lookout for that type of thing. I can't get over how well the voice actors fit the characters. Oh my I know. god. Like, like I remember when we were looking at through obviously applications yeah. and we were like trying to like mentally picture them as the character and mm -hmm. every single voice actor did like just like hearing it all together was just crazy like everyone right? did such an amazing yeah. job yeah we, we, we literally sat there for like three hours we listened to every single audition that you guys sent in we sat down we listened to them all everyone did amazing but like these people we chose they did awesome i think everyone did awesome that's why there's everyone has a role in the series because everyone's mm -hmm. just amazing and awesome you know yeah there's also a question that kind of leads into that as well um, um where was it? What was oh it? so it would be will you be accepting any more voice actors for later episodes or is everything um, lovely at the moment i don't have a need for it but that's not to say that later on i won't need more like maybe there will be a side character that i'll need um but at the moment I don't need any more voice actors, but I will say that I'm I'm always gonna need like in-game actors. So if you ever want to be part of it and help, you may not be able to contribute your voice necessarily, but you can always like star in it in game. Um, yeah. Those people get credited at the end as well. So if you ever want to help out in that way, you can also do that. You'll have to but join yeah, the Discord. Also, yes, join my Discord. Link yeah. in the description. So Ash asks people in the Discord, so you have to be in there. Yeah, and also I, I'm like really bad. I'm like I'm like so last minute. I'm like um I think we're gonna record today. Yeah. <laughs> and then She's done and that then I literally. Time with me. Yeah. <laughs> she texts me ten minutes before she wants to start doing. She's like Dustin, do you have the next two hours free? I'm like, <laughs> now I do. I want to do it now. <laughs> <laughs> um, what other questions? Let's see. There will you have is. this series in seasons, or will it only be one season? I don't know yet. I I don't know. I, I'll have to wait and see, Um, because I don't know how many episodes are going to be in a season. I don't know if I just want it to be like a one-and-done type season thing. I don't know yet. I don't know. We'll just have to see. There's also a question that asks, will you be adding more side slash supporting characters as the series progresses? I feel mm. like even the side characters I... has a lot of personality. Uh... So. I would assume so. I would assume Maybe. so. Yeah, yeah I, I feel like as the story progresses, we would just kind of add side characters as they come and go, you know? Mm -hmm. um, as long as it fits in with the story, I see why we wouldn't. Um, so, wait, yeah, we, we, ha we have a lot of side characters that are like auditioned yeah. that we definitely will use every single side character that who is like in the series we will use every single one of you guys so you guys will mm -hmm. always we'll, we'll have a part we'll make sure of it so yeah. there, there will be tons of supporting character side characters throughout the series you guys will see yeah i do definitely agree though side characters are very important um, yes yes so yeah we you guys worry. only um you guys only met like a very 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 small portion of the characters that we have um like, not even just main characters, but, like, all the characters in general. You guys only met a very small portion of them tonight. So, there will be more. Trust me, there will be more WizTubers as well that will be also, in when future I was, episodes. During the premiere, I was seeing people talking about, um, like, the side character where it was like, please be Storm, please be Storm. I was so mm -hmm. hoping someone would pick that up. Because I remember being to you, like, we need to add this, but have them, like, all whisper it. Because they're, like, yeah. nervous. So, I'm so, like, so glad people picked these things up. Me too. That that was Crowley that voiced that. Yeah, I know. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it was so good. It was. Dude, this piece of hair, I'm just I'm just gonna cut it off. Okay, anyway. Okay. <laughs> um <laughs> looking for artists. Mm -hmm. Um at the moment, no, but you are always welcome to make fan art and I'll and we'll retweet it on yes. the Ravenwood Rising Twitter. Yes. Um at the moment we don't need any art though. Cause it's it's not like an animated series, you know. Yeah. It's just kinda like in game stuff, but yeah, and at we the have moment, an no. already. Yeah, we do have an artist who is um, helping with the thumbnails and um, yeah. made this one. So, at the moment, no. But if you feel if you want to make uh, fan art, we will retweet it. Yay! Yes. <laughs> okay. 
Um, who was the hardest character to write for? Uh, I think it was Luna. I, I really do. I think it was Luna. So I didn't want to voice actor it. And I've said oh, this yeah. on stream like several times, but I'm just going to say it again because I think it's kind of funny. Yeah. I didn't want to voice actor. Um, originally, I was going to voice act Sarah, the mean girl. And I was going to give Amber Meow to Luna so that way someone else other than me had a chance to be a main character or the main character. Um, but the more that we listened, the more we were like, I think Amber Meow really fits Erica's voice. And we like looked at the characters as we listened to, to the auditions and we were like, which character fits which voice? And Amber's fit Erica. And then we were kind of like sitting there, we were like, I don't know what to do for Luna because nobody else like really stands out for her. Um, and yeah. that's when I asked, Dustin and Kamoka what to do and they were like well what if you just make Aphrodite Sarah and you do Luna and I was like ah! and that's what ended up that's what ended up happening well, so. yeah, for us we chose that and it's not because any type of bias or anything we literally didn't take any type of bias when we were choosing characters and actors for roles we literally were like putting people's voices to the characters and Ash voice fits, fits Luna so well because she knows Luna, she created Luna, she knows mm -hmm. exactly what Luna like acts like, so she's like perfect for the role. So that's why yes. Dustin and I, Dustin and I mm -hmm. were like, you know, we need to like have Ash do it because I feel we feel like it, it would not do a justice for Luna if we didn't do it do it that way. Right. Yeah. yeah. So she she was a really hard character to write for and and voice act for, but um, I'm glad that I'm glad that I did it because like I, I had a hard time writing her because I was like I want to make her introverted but I don't want to make her like annoyingly introverted like I, I don't know it, it was it was hard I want to make yeah. her like still like a likable character like she's not going to stand out to people at the beginning because she is kind of like more quiet but um yeah she was she was hard she was I the hardest like, one to write yeah. for yeah but I do feel like every character had their own challenges I guess like yeah. not specifically actually writing them but more about kind of the brainstorming kind of aspect yeah. and also when it came to actually creating what they look like because mm -hmm. i feel like in a lot of things like this you kind of want their looks to also reflect on their personality um so coming up with their scores i mean some of them came really easy like i mean sarah came really easy with her being storm cassie with life they were really easy to come up with you know and then the personality followed with that but I do agree, Luna was definitely the hardest to write, and I feel like she will continue to be the hardest to portray in the way that we want her to be, just because yeah. of how complex and like how many layers there is to her personality. I do yes. feel like she will continue to be the hardest, but don't get me wrong, every other character also does have hard parts about them, because like for Sarah example, if we want her to be sassy, but we don't always not everything she says we perhaps don't want that to be we want her to sound in a different way but still come across as that mean girl like regina george type vibe mm -hmm. so it, it it depends oh my on god. the scene yeah oh my god i'm i'm 100k oh, oh god, my god. <laughs> oh my god i'm so oh, sorry guys i'm so sorry oh, <laughs> i'm so sorry Oh my god, Troy, I can't, I'm in the middle of an interview. It's party. Oh my god. Yeah. Troy, I, I don't have party. a shirt on. Oh. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Oh, shoot. Oh. 100k. <laughs> hey, come on, guys. Dance party now. Oh my god. Yeah. Oh Damn. My god. <laughs> We're jamming out. I'm. <laughs> Look at my dog. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my. Um, we love the support of husband. Wow. That's a <laughs> big question. Thank you, question. Thank you for, the, for the support um, during my very important Wizard 101 interview. So, <laughs> I feel like this question is kind of boring. How's the, how's the Wizard 101 be from um, Dance Go? Show me in the game. Oh my god. Hold on, <laughs> Dusty. The, my, my interview is, is getting bombarded by <laughs> someone. <laughs> it's a party, guys. <laughs> 
100k. Yeah. Woo! Thank you. Thank you for the support. Is this Wait. one good? I don't know. You like it with copyrighted. Uh oh. No. No copyright. No, yeah, no copyright. copyright. Ow, Charlie. Wait. No. Nope. No copyright. <laughs> this is Moose here. Ah! Oh my He's god. He's dancing. <laughs> You're ugly, you're disgusting, oh, I'm gonna kill you, donut. give me $200. Oh, we haven't been trying in a while. He was on a business trip. He wasn't Bye, doing... Oh, I guess I'm leaving. <laughs> I'm kicking him out. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Love you, Troy. Bye. Thank you for coming. It was the 100k subscriber. I don't know who was the 100k subscriber. Are you here? Uh, probably not. Probably not. Which one are you? Probably not. We'll never know. Be the 100k. We'll never know. One subscriber. <laughs> Love you, Troy. Thank you for coming in here and being happy. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Bye, Bye Troy. <laughs> okay. okay. What was the question you were trying so, to read? Some of this has already been answered, but I feel like you're. You're in ugly. Time. You're oh disgusting. God, I'm, I'm gonna go. kill you. Sorry, Give me $200. I'm <laughs> but I'm so proud of you all. The authors more, and yeah. all actors <laughs> did so so good. I have to go rep, but this is such a fun thing to connect the entire Wiz community. I can't wait for more episodes, hee hee. Okay, bye, au revoir. Thank you, Mona. I love you so much. Thank you for the dono. I love you. Okay, sorry, Dustin. Say what you want to say Okay, so, this, you and that, give the Ash and Kamofi will be able to answer this more than me, but, so, is Ravenwood Rising a total new series? Yes. Season one, season two, or is it a limited series? Also, do you plan on introducing multi storylines and including different worlds in interesting ways you can interpret talking to the enemies while in battle? Would you twist how the moon school or sun school could be a curse, or at some point you could save a bully's life? The amount of storylines and possibilities that could happen, do you plan on pushing the boundaries? That was a big question. <laughs> uh, I guess for the first part, um, I'll answer it my part, what I feel, since Ash is talking to Troy. I'm um, sorry, I'm back. <laughs> no, you're fine. <laughs> so, Ravenwood Rising is supposed to be a total series, where total new series. So it's like season one. It's supposed to have like a season one. I'm hoping for a season two, but we haven't gone that far yet, so I can't like we can't like confirm firm season two. But it's gonna be like a season one, and then hopefully, like I because we can always like keep going with the story if we need to. Like we can come up with ideas. It's just goes you know if we want to do that but we're trying to hopefully go for a total new series so like season one season two not like a limited series type of thing um ash yeah. do you want do you want to add on that um what does limited series mean um <laughs> is, so it's like what, is, what does it even mean how... hello the... wait one season okay i'm sorry can, can you say that again my 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 headphones just got unplugged oh, for god's sake i hate this woman <laughs> <laughs> so a limited series would be more like it would there would just be like one season and that would be it that type of vibe oh yeah well i don't know because i don't know how yeah. many i don't know how many episodes are gonna be in season one i don't know like i don't really know We'll just have to wait and see. It's really hard to answer because, like, what if it's, like, what if it's just one... I don't know. I don't know yet. We'll we, have to see. Yeah. We, pl we plan well, on hoping for, like, a... I, well, personally, like, season one and then a season two type of thing because leaving off on a cliffhanger for the end of the season would be cool, but we don't... We're not going to say anything about that, so... Yeah. yeah. At, also, at the moment, we literally only have two episodes right yeah. now. Yeah. For the so second it, half of this question as well... I can't answer that question, and neither can Ash, and neither can Kamoka, because we don't know. And also, if we did know, it would be telling too much. Yeah, we don't. We don't want to spoil too much. No, yeah. no spoilers for the yeah. plotline. Sorry, but what? but I yeah. I will say we've got lots of lots of great ideas that we are working on um, incorporating into a. I saw into an episode. I saw someone ask, "Did you take inspiration from Divergent?" Personally, when I asked Ash to do it, I did not even think about Divergent. Um, I was mostly thinking LPS Popular and Mean Girls. Like Mean Girls was kind of like my thriving point. I think even mm -hmm. like I was looking up like watching Mean Girl again, and I was watching LPS Popular. But that's where I was like, you know, got my inspiration from. I actually did think of Divergent whenever I was making this, but I don't know if I really like took inspiration from it but but it, i did think of it i really loved the movie divergent like a lot 
so it was in the back of my head. Um, I, but I, I didn't really, I was more so basing it off of like LPS popular, just like Kamoka said. Like I, I was more so trying to make this like, like um, a mean, like a mean girl, like drama series. Yeah. But yes, I did think of Divergent. I love that movie so much. I, so, think it's, um, it's, I think it's because like for me, I want Ash to make a series like that because this is type of like, this is like Ash type of like things. Like this is like, she'd love to do this type of thing, you know? And I feel like it's insane that no one has ever done this in the Wiz community where, you know, there's like, you know, music videos people would make on Wiz or stuff like that. But I've never seen a Wiz drama series. And I'm like, Bronze Al Cool Soup for chatted because, one dollar like, and ninety nine cents. He 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 all Dustin. Happy about something new in the Wiz community, you know? Yeah, I agree. I I'm so glad that we like followed through with this. Yeah. Because I I've seen like um there was like Wizard One Hundred One like movies, but like they were made like a long time ago. But nobody's ever made like a series like this before. So it's it's fun. I'm I'm really happy with how Episode One turned out. Oh, me too. It's awesome. Yeah. Um, Before any this, this if this question is answered, Ash and Kamoka, just look in the cool thing right now and just look at this question before anything is said. <laughs> okay. Um, I don't uh, think we should answer no. that one. Yeah, no, we're not gonna say that's that. That's what I was thinking. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. Um, but there is a question that asks if you think Ash or Anne Kamoka, I guess all of us can answer this, but do you think Kings are would will acknowledge this show? Um, I feel like personally, KI will see the series, considering how much people are enjoying it and actually we're hyping it up. I feel like KI probably may, you know, possibly talk about it, who knows, um, or see it even. Um, I, I think they will. I don't know if they'll really say anything on it, but we'll see. Um, <laughs> actually, I can see oh you laughing, and that's why, why I purposely didn't uh, add that section to it, because oh I was like, God. um... <laughs> So out of pocket. <laughs> <laughs> it's so Ash. funny. Um, <laughs> yes, I, I do because they already liked one of my tweets for the um, whenever I was recruiting voice actors, they already liked that tweet. So in my head, they already acknowledged it. Yeah. Um, I I think they'll I think that they'll like continue to like tweets about it and maybe retweet something. Yeah. But I don't expect them to like like go out of their way to like say anything though. Right. Well, this, this is a good question, though. Um, so we've already answered the first half of this, where it's just how many episodes will be planned. We don't know. But how long does it take for you to make and voice act and then edit each episode? Like, what's the process mm. of that? Which I guess we've kind of answered. But, yeah. You know. Yeah. Like, like I said, the um, the filming in game takes the longest part. The voice acting. So, like, I let everyone, uh, this is another reason why I'm glad that I'm Luna, because um, I was able to let everyone else do their lines first, and since my character is the main character, when I, like, if somebody did a voice line, I recorded mine after everyone else was done. Like, I listened to theirs first and then recorded mine in response to theirs, just that way I could, like, like make the conversation flow better like I knew exactly how my tone needed to be to make it seem like a like a flowing conversation um so um yeah it this whole entire process for me took a month um I would assume that the future ones will take about like two to three weeks as well I would say or maybe I don't know I, I would assume they'll probably take around the same time it it's a it's a long like process to do especially like i'm i mean i enjoy it but like i'm i'm one person and i'm putting it all together and i wouldn't really have it any other way anyway because i know exactly how i want it to be in my head um i mean i do have help though in terms of like like kamoka made all of the uh art for the cards i'll put those on the screen too i'm i oh, love them so like much oh, yeah. also, there's a question Oh, well, it's not really a question, but there's something in the responses that you can't show the stream. Oh yeah, I saw that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, is it a bad one? It's the, no, it's, it's not one, bad. It's about the one that's uh, you know, extra. Yeah. About extra. Oh. Yeah. Well, well it's probably gonna show up on the stream unless I... you can delete it. Can you delete yeah, it? Yeah, delete it maybe. Yeah, let me delete it if I can. Okay. But yeah, Kamoka made all of the cards. Like I've I've had help in that way, but in terms of like the video, the episode itself. 
I did all of that by myself. Um, yeah. So it, it takes a it takes a while. Yeah, Ash just does that filming, editing, and all that stuff. Um, Dustin's the writer. I, I I managed to do Raven with Twitter, and I did the cards. But like each card, there's a reason for the cards. Like uh, like for instance, we came up with a quote for each of the characters to represent the personalities. And each of the symbols mean something around it. Like, we're not gonna say what, but if you guys want to check that out, at the Ravenwood Twitter, I'll like link it again. Um, but they all, all, every part of symbol means something. I'll just tell you guys that. So yes. I can't delete it. <laughs> you can't delete them. No. Thing. Um. Oh, also, I was gonna say. Um, I think I do want to give a shout out to Chris Deathrider because. Oh yes. Uh, he, he actually helped with the credits, which is huge. And he also managed to get Gamma's voice actor, if you guys heard at the end of yes! the video. It was actually, he, he managed to get Gamma's voice actor to say that for us. So that was yes. huge. So shout out to Chris Deathwriter, because that was here huge. Here he is, right here. Yeah, that's, that's, I can't believe we haven't move even your, talked about move that your yet. Move your chat screen. Move your chat screen. Okay, I moved. I moved it. <laughs> um, but yeah, oh my god. <laughs> That's something too, like, we literally had the real, legit Gamma voice actor in this. Yeah. And that that's all thanks to Chris Deathrider, because yes. um, he yes. manages the Voices of the Spiral, I think it's called, on Twitter. Yeah. And yeah. so, like, he he's able to, like, get the connections. And, oh my god, how cool is that? That's just so amazing. Which, by the way, did you guys know that Gamma's voice actor also voices Al Hazred? <gasps> oh, wow. I didn't wow. know that, actually. Same. I didn't know that either. That's cool. Yeah, it really was Gamma. I'm I'm shook. It really <laughs> was Gamma. Yes. <laughs> I'm really happy um, with everyone trying to help with the series, though. I feel like everyone has been trying so much to help with the series, which is awesome. That people are, are like very that passionate to help, like want to help. They would like uh, so many people have wanted to like help us, and we're like, we want you to help too. But there's nothing you can really help with, you know. But we appreciate yeah. you guys help trying to help us, you know. Yeah. Yeah, that, that's something too. I I literally kept this entire thing uh, a secret. I didn't even let Kamoka or Dustin see yeah. anything. I, I wanted it to be a surprise for the voice actors and for my co-producer and my co-writer as well. Because, like, I, I mean, they knew it was going to happen, of course. But I wanted it to be a surprise. I wanted to keep everything a surprise just to, like, what we did slam know, it in your face at the end. <laughs> we did know the... Um, like the intro music and all of that. We did know that. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty oh my sure god, we, which we have sure to, we to had that, that Yeah, I'm pretty sure we had those like jingles, like those little theme songs for like three weeks now. Yeah, we We've have had them for a had long time now. For a very long time. Um, okay, guys, let's watch this again, like right now. Like, wait, oh my god, I, I got an ad for, okay, anyway. Okay, I'm gonna add on her own YouTube channel. Hey, hey, money. Oh, this is terrible. Ad. This is so sad. Oh my God, it's so good. Literally it's so amazing. good. It it literally, it. bro. I, I'm obsessed. Also, did you guys notice in the beginning of the, in the beginning of the um, intro? Off did you go. see what it was? Hold on, let me show you. Hold on. Okay, so it's it's her, looking in the mirror, at a reflection. But who is that in the reflection? I don't know. Guess you guys will have to wait and see. Yeah. <laughs> guess we'll have to wait and see to the future. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> it feels like a real show. I know. This was so fun to edit. I loved editing the intro. I, I gotta watch it again. I gotta listen to it again. It's so good. It's so good. I had to think about it though. I think it was fun, like when we made when making the characters. Cause like I remember we were, like we were like coming up with names. I feel like which is so funny because I feel like Luna's yes! name was like the longest, the hardest to like fire out. You know, dude. We named her Mindy Moon at first. She yeah. literally was gonna be named Mindy Moon. And then I was like, I've already had a Mindy Moon. Like, I feel like I need to give this character a new name, a new persona of her own. She she deserves it. 
But yes, she was inspired by Mindy Moon. <laughs> there was a name that I had like mentioned, and it was so good. But then it was like it wasn't even in the Wiz, uh, you know, oh, name. It was Celeste, I think. Oh, Celeste. Yeah. So she was supposed yeah. to be called Celeste, but there, there's no like, you know, Celeste and Wiz. So we we had mm -hmm. to make get names that were on Wiz because you know it makes no sense to have like a name that's not in the game. So we went with yeah. Luna, which is like the second best option. Yes. Yes, I agree. And, and there were like we kind of went through a thing where we were like, well, is Luna, like, too predictable? Like, we were like, uh, yeah. I don't know, should it be Lana? But then we were like, no, it, it would be a missed opportunity to not name her Luna Rising. Like, yeah. it's just perfect, because moon rising in the sky, and yeah, anyway. Which is also <laughs> so funny, because I think we also, because we had the, obviously, the title first, and yeah. then... I'm yeah, pretty sure, we like, did. we went through so many last names for her, and then we were just like, well, why don't we just call her Luna Rising? I think mm -hmm. it's, so, it's so funny because the reason we came up with that was because I was, I think I was like, well, Grey's Anatomy, <laughs> Meredith Grey, yes! you know, yeah. <laughs> you're Grey's Anatomy, so we're like, we can do, you know, Ravenwood Rising for Luna, you know? That's so funny. <laughs> Grey's Anatomy, so <laughs> obviously. <laughs> that, that was like how we like went through it. <laughs> yes. So I will funny. also say, um, I think the only characters that didn't have their names changed was the men. Oh. I'm pretty yeah. sure. Wait, cause... we had a. Oh, I don't. I can't say his. Wait, wait yeah, oh. I can say his name. I can yes, you can. Name. Yeah. Um, we had a really hard time naming Sebastian. Like, mm -hmm. that That was hard. Um, let me put his card on, on the screen. And then we for a while, a Ash was, in fact, him. still calling every character by their old names. Yeah, that was um, hard. Cassie's name was going to be Fallon. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yes. And Erica, which this is so funny, Erica's name was supposed to be Ezra, but I realized that's not an option for the girl characters in this game. I know it's an option, but it's apparently only for the boy characters, which I had no idea. So, um, we changed Ezra into Erica, Fallon into Cassie, and then Mindy into Luna. But, um... We had a hard time naming Sebastian, but once we like chose his name, we were like, okay, yeah, this is this is perfect for him. You all yeah. should also stand Sebastian, just letting you know. <laughs> you will see him in the near future. Yes, yes, you will. Maybe yeah, episode will. two. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. know. <laughs> I can tell you. I, you know, I I wrote the script and I forgot yeah, about I, it all of a sudden. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> um, I think I'm just gonna. Should I just put the characters, or I mean the questions on the screen and just like not answer some of them? Like... I think we've answered most of them now, haven't we? Yeah. I, there, so. I don't know, there's 26 of them. Oh, we have a new one. Okay, what was it? It... So they said, thank you for responding to my previous question, the long one. You're welcome. Would you get the Cabal involved and the student who stuck up for you against the bullies is actually part of the Cabal? That will slowly try and get closer to you and learns the Moon School will give you more <gasps> powers up. Uh, oh my art God. By the way, great work to everyone involved. Whoa! Great I idea! I like that! Whoa! Cool idea! Now that you've said that, that might be going in a drawing board. Doesn't mean we may, we'll be using it. Yeah, that, it yeah that's be. a really cool idea. Cassie's so sweet, though. Yeah. Dude, yeah. Cassie can't be part of the Cabal. She's we can't so give sweet. her, like, what's her name? Uh, not Gloria Kendall, that's the old woman who sews things. The witch um, in Firecat Alley. We can't oh, give her that Gre treatment. Greta Dark Kettle. Yeah, Greta. Yeah, we can't yeah. give her the Greta treatment. <laughs> like, no. I won't allow Aww. that to happen. That, that's yeah, a she, cool that's idea, so though. Sweet. It is a yeah. really cool idea. I could definitely... Um... There, I, there is a lot of things that we wish we could say, but yeah. we can't because, like, one, they're just ideas and... They're near, they're more closer than they are in the than they are like in the future. But yeah, most of the times people will send us ideas and they're like, let me send you an idea, and it's like we actually are putting that idea into place. We just don't want to tell you. Yeah, like, you know, <laughs> like, oh, yeah great idea. <laughs> so, oh my god, I, I didn't I didn't think of that. I thought about that two weeks ago. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. But um, you will so... definitely. Yeah, there are some great things are coming, guys. Don't you worry. Yeah. Someone said, were there any scenes or plots from the first episode that were cut due to runtime or story setup? No, but I did add a scene. Um, the scene in the train station was not supposed to be a scene. I added that myself, um, kind of last minute. Yeah. Mainly because I really just liked Daniel Sunsword's house. 
<laughs> yeah, and we like, also I, I we also this. changed the script a bit. We like changed yes. because originally the script was actually quite different. The first the first scene like, was the first scene was very different originally, um, and we went back and forth a few times, and we ended up coming up with what we have now, and then obviously Ash then added the train scene and i didn't even see this part like i didn't even see it in the script <laughs> so like <laughs> surprise to me but it definitely fit in with what the script was now so yeah. it was a very good add yes i i like that i added that bonus scene um what other questions are there do you see any more that i haven't answered let me have a look hmm there's non-related questions. Yeah. So, um, what about only related questions? I'm having a look, don't you worry. Okay. Um, How much of the overall story slash story arc do you have planned out? I only have the next three episodes planned out, and I only have the script made for episode two so far. But um, I know what I want episode three and episode four to be, and I have lots and lots and lots of ideas for the overall plot mm -hmm. uh just haven't written it like down yet but i have lots and lots of ideas for that what i can also add on to that is i have ideas for episode five and six but they're still in the works and most likely won't even be mentioned until we hit like a good milestone in like episode three and four um there are some good ideas that are already out and not in the works, but are definitely being considered, I guess we can say. Yeah. I, I know we can, one thing we can talk about, um, we can talk about like uh, the school uniforms and how we went down mm -hmm. that path. I, I know like we chose, well, we yeah. kind of just chose the Pickswick uniforms because it was kind of like, you know, uniforms that's like, you know, professional, you know. Mm -hmm. The coloring part, I think, was where we were kind of like going back and forth, trying to figure out what we really wanted to do for the coloring. Yeah, yeah, was that a... was that was hard. Yeah, because we're like we're like, well, maybe yeah. we should have like a trim that's the same as everyone else's, and then we're like, well, no, well, maybe we... so, like maybe not do that. So, like for the characters, the colors each represent the school. So, like Storm is like purple and purple, Green is like life, balance colors, you know, and so on. But we were, we're 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 stuck on that for a little bit actually, trying to figure out like the trim at least. Yes. We, we yeah. To, like remember Dustin? Yes, me and Kamoka like, I think it was it was during a stream. Me and like Ash was streaming, and <laughs> me and Kamoka were just like, we need to figure out the color of these outfits. Yeah. Um, like we didn't even just we did obviously what you guys saw in episode one, but we did other things as well, which we can't talk about yet. Um, but it definitely was hard because we were like, well, we like, there are obviously the, the colors that you would expect of like a storm and of a balance and a life, but do we want to, do we want the base color to be that? Or do we want the trim color to be that? It was yeah. definitely, it was hard, but once we nailed it, it was worth it. Like it looks really good now. Yeah, yeah it looks really good. But we, all, yeah. we even have many more ideas, but that outfit ideas that we planned out, but we can't say any of them because that's for the future <laughs> episodes. But those are fun to design as well. Yes. Yes. Um, what other questions are there? I feel like we've answered most of them, or all of them. I don't see any more. Do you? I don't either. If anyone has any other questions, they can also just put it in chat, and if we see it, we'll answer. Yeah. Yes. I will. I will say though. I think um, many people will say L Luna being called Luna is very ironic, and it's like, well, it kind of gives away something, you know, gives it away in a sense. <laughs> but but we kind of give it away anyway. It's like a whole purpose of naming her Luna was because we were gonna give it away in the first episode, as you guys can tell. You know, it mm -hmm. was we didn't like shy away from it. You guys see mm -hmm. the moon, so it's like you know, kind of leading do down a certain path. But like that's kind of why we chose Luna because we were like, eh. We're gonna get out of the way. We're gonna tell. We're like, and I'll get to the world anyway. Yeah. So, I yeah. also, I think everything about Luna is meant to like hint towards things. Like, there's nothing about her that isn't hinting towards something. You know, mm -hmm. like her name is hinting towards her school. How you know everything that's happened in the first episode is hinting towards something, and it also is the same 
with Luna, like, herself, like, her personality and things like that. Yes, I agree. That's why she was also very complicated to just, to make and, you know, come to mm -hmm. life. Um, Alex, Alex is asking a question. If Luna had a pet, what would it be? I don't know. I haven't, um, we haven't had pets involved in the series so far, <laughs> so I don't, I don't know what it would be, um... I think, like, non-canically, she would probably have... Probably the moon pet. Yeah, isn't coming. there supposed yeah. to be a, a moon yeah. pet coming out? Yeah, or probably star, the star pets. The star pets oh, or yeah. the moon pets. Yeah. Oh, yeah. the star pets would be so cute. Yeah. Um, but, like, in the series, if there's gonna be a pet in it, it would probably be something like a... Like, I don't know, like a dog or something. Like, like, like the polar fox would be a good pet. Yeah, yeah. Mm. I agree. I think a lot of, if pets were to be introduced, a lot of them would be very beginner pets, like piggles and stuff like that. Because yeah. if you guys didn't notice, everything that the people were wearing, so like even like Luna's outfit in episode one, was because they're noobs. So it's like as if you're starting the game. Mm -hmm. So, and if you start, when you're starting the game, your pets are also bad like i mean unless you have like other wizards that are high level so it's all they the pets would probably also be new like beginner friendly pets as well yes i agree um... also i want to know did anyone notice um the line where luna says it was like reading grizzleheim runes oh yeah did anyone pick up on that 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 part was um I think that was you that said that, right? Yeah. That was you that wrote that part. Yeah, so we wanted to, like, uh, we wanted to, like, put something in there that was, like, a, a Wizard 101 language, and, like, she can't under, like, she can't read it. <laughs> like, she can't understand. It doesn't make sense to her. Yeah. That was, that was Dusty's doing. I think, I think my, like, my thought process with this also is, the game Wizard 101 itself has a lot of pop pop culture references. Um and I was like I wanna include like Wizard 101 references. Like we're meant to be in a Wizard 101 like setting, so why not include things like this? Because Luna's gonna know about Grizzleheim and Crocotopia and stuff like that, so mm -hmm. why not add that into this as well? So you know, my my brain was it was on fire, y'all. It was having we, a great time. We originally were gonna have it say like Crocotopian tablets or something. Yeah. But I think the Grizzleheim runes was just sounded better I don't know. as well. Yeah, it just sounds better coming out of my better. mouth. <laughs> um, Marmin, we don't know what happened to Luna's mom. We don't know. We don't know. Yeah, I, gotta, I don't know. Guess you we gotta see. wait to find out. Yep. Yeah. Guess we'll have to wait and I... see. <laughs> um... <Why'd> you know. <laughs> <laughs> I I really like. I really liked the transition between them all taking the test and wearing the white robes and then like the next scene like she's literally the only one in a white robe and, and I loved the music choice that I chose there because it's like it's like a tense music like everyone's staring at her like why is why is she the only one wearing white oh my god I keep getting ads this is so annoying but I I loved that editing this was so fun guys I, I had so much fun editing it um Oh, also something that I wanted to say is, I don't know if anyone picked up on this, and if you didn't, it's fine, but um, there were some parts where I tried to, like, edit the hand gesture with her talking to, like, like, I would, here, like, this part, hold on, let me play this for you guys. Um, where did my mouse go? Oh, there it is, okay. Okay, so, like, for this part, watch, watch her mouth. Watch. To see this day finally happen. <sighs> yeah. I wish she was too. So like, for that, I tried to make her mouth move with the sigh and, and like, the words that she was saying. I'm gonna play it one more time. <sighs> yeah. I wish she was too. Like, I, I tried to do stuff like that throughout the entire episode. Um... That was fun. <laughs> That's really amazing. I love that. Thank you. Uh, what else can I talk about in terms of editing? Well, Ooh, you talk about, about talk about the animation. 
Fault, okay. like, gu get, like, guide us in the beginning how you did it, like, what you did, and all that stuff. Okay, so for the animation scene, um, where she goes into the bathroom. So, yeah. what I did is I took a picture of the side of her, and she was doing an emote where her, I don't remember what emote it was. Um, she was, I think she, like, did, like, the cough or something, and her hands were raised. So, I took a picture of that with her hands up. And, um, I edited it to where she didn't have any arms at all. It was just her, like, body. And then I took another picture of her hand, and I, like, cut out all the space around it. So that way I could animate the hand to move wherever I wanted to. This, this took a long time. This, this scene probably took me the longest. Um, so, like, so I moved it down. I unzipped it. I had to also draw another layer of, like, the top of the satchel thingy had to also draw her like i can show you her hands let me show you the hands i had to draw her hands closed like she's grabbing something let me show you i have so many different arms on my computer now from her like that is <laughs> that is quite a sentence <laughs> <laughs> i have so many arms on my computer i have one where she's grabbing one where she's grabbing glasses um, oh one where she's God. grabbing contacts somewhere. This one. Uh, Kendall, Ravenwood Rising is not a reality show. It's, it's, a, drama it's a drama series. Yes. Um, so I had to draw the arms like that and animate them. Um, took a That's very awesome. long time, but yeah. <laughs> but fun. she's talented. Also, I want to say, just to say, um, like this series is obviously not made for everyone. Not everyone's going to like it, but I think that those that do like it, that we appreciate you, that you enjoy watching it, and we yeah. love that you're supporting us, and we hope you follow us through the whole journey and all the episodes that we decide to make. Yes. You should also follow the Ravenwood Rising Twitter account if you haven't already, or if you have a Twitter, because you might, there's a chance that you might see things on there. Oh. There's a chance. Go follow it. Because Ash won't say in the in the fairy in the fairy forest because mm -hmm. it's not Ravenwood Rising. Mm -mm. It's not. So <laughs> go follow the Twitter. Yes. Also, um, this this part was funny where she was like, she was like, "Geez, I forgot how weird these felt." It was funny because at first I was I had the script saying. Jeez, I forgot how itchy these were. Cause like every time I'm streaming, I'm like, oh my god, guys, my eyes itch, my contacts itch. Yeah. But then, but then I was like, you know what? That's not something that normal people experience. Let me reword this. Cause yeah, my dry that eye my symptom, contacts. yeah, my dry <laughs> eye symptom is only relative to me. So let me like reword this a little bit. <laughs> oh my god, but I love that. Um, um Luna's father is not old cob um, <laughs> luna's father's not. literally in the series he's right here yeah that is and not old cob know, i in fact was the wizard as the father in that so yes. i would know and this was also gay. what's funny are we going to talk about this a bit that uh, so when we were filming the actual in-game scenes so we had like obviously whether you've seen the scenes in the house and in where Sarah and her little sidekicks are. Those two scenes. Um, the funny thing is, is that other, so the other people that were involved in the filming had no idea what was happening. Oh but yeah, I they did. Had no idea. <laughs> so it was like <laughs> in the house scenes, especially when Luna goes upstairs. When Ash and me were filming it, I was saying what was happening in the actual like chat box. <laughs> Yeah, I was he, like, he I knew exactly everything. what line he was filming, but like most of the people that were filming had no idea. I just said, okay, go stand over here. Okay, now say a slash in chat. And then they would say slash. Like they just listened to me, but Dustin knew exactly what, what scene we were working on and everything, but nobody else had any idea. It's quite <laughs> it was, funny. It was very funny. But yeah, I mean, episode two, the script, as I said, obviously earlier in the stream, it is pretty much finished, but knowing Ash and me, we will go look at it and we will do a read through and absolutely hate a part of it and want to change the <laughs> yeah. entire thing because we're like that. Mm -hmm. um, 
but usually the script is the quickest um and then everything else takes a bit longer but as soon as the yeah. script is done then everything else starts rolling because ash doesn't start well i mean we don't start the in-game filming until everything else is done that's kind of like the process you went with this obviously the first episode as well so it'll probably continue to be like that yeah but i think i saw a question um that kind of, it kind of relates to the uh the process um oh i saw a question of also from Cosmic earlier, like what the release schedule would be. And from what we've spoken about us three, there isn't a release schedule. Yeah, because there is none. just it really just depends on the timing of things and how quick things are done and how long it takes for us. Um, but you could probably expect, I don't know, what? I, I would say three it'll, weeks, I'd say two that's weeks. a I would say like two to four weeks. Yeah. You don't you don't really we don't really know how long it'll like, be, but that sounds like a long time, but then you also have to consider the fact that we have to do the script for it, then we have to the voice actors have to have enough time to get their lines in. Which usually I mean, first episode was a bit shorter, but I think it would be what, a week you give them now? Yeah, I, I would say so. Yeah, and then the filming part of in game. So expect yeah. two to four weeks, I guess. So don't yeah. think that episode two will be out tomorrow because it ain't gonna be. Oh no, yeah. <laughs> it's gonna be a while, definitely. Yeah. yeah, but don't worry, it's it's worth it. And then um, we'll make a playlist so that way people like later on in life can just go back and rewatch it, like kind of how like we binge watch LPS Popular now. Yeah. Like that's gonna that's gonna be this um that's gonna be like the Wizard One Hundred One LPS Popular. Like people can just like go back and like binge watch it that, eventually. That's, that's my goal for real. I want people to like remember the series and be like, oh my god, I just want to go watch it again. I forgot about yeah. it. Let's go watch it again. You know. Yeah. Well, this too. is a question that Ash, you could answer. Um, Eagle Eyed M says, would you do end credit scenes that tease the next episode? Um, like you could do a scene where you zoom in on Greta's house to zoom in the vault. I, um, I, I could see myself doing something like that. I could. I don't know yeah. when, but I could see myself doing something like that. We um, probably have I a higher do... chance of seeing recaps. Oh yeah, there, there will be recaps in every video, like previously on Ravenwood Rising. You, you'll see those for sure. Um, I guess I can give you a teaser into episode two. This scene here where she's in the bathroom, episode two will pick up right here. I'll, I'll say that much. Episode two will pick up, pick up right in the bathroom. So. It will indeed. It will indeed. Yay. Also, I guess what you could... Mm, episode two will be a lot more eventful. Let's say that. Yeah. We'll end it with yeah. that. Yeah. Episode two will be It'll be a lot more be eventful. Fun. Yeah. I... I yeah, we lots are on IMDb. <laughs> I know! Isn't that so fun? It's so fun. Oh my god. Is episode two already finished? No, we haven't even started episode two. We have the script well completed um, for episode two, but we haven't even like started anything really for it yet. Yeah, you guys really, you, you'll know more if you follow the Twitter. Yes. Like, because that's really where you're going to get the most information from, and Obviously, if you're in the Fairy Forest server as well, then you'll know probably the day of or the day before when this like a new episode would be out. But mm -hmm. the Twitter account, like which Kamoka runs, by the way, Yay. will give you everything you need to know. Yes. Um. With that being said, are there any other questions? I think we pretty well covered the... everything. Um. Uh. Ego. Ego. I talked about wondering what the current time we're in time for episode two we don't really know because we, ha we haven't filmed it yet we have the script but like filming it is a lot different so you can't really guesstimate but if, if we had to guesstimate it would be along the lines of 10 minutes kind of like the first episode was or, or maybe yes. even longer than that so just an estimate of that mm -hmm. oh, this oh my gosh i love the presentation know. part that part was so fun right <laughs> it's so cool i guess I, we all could, um, yeah, we could all answer this. Um, question is, is it fun picking out the outfits for the characters? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yes. that's one yeah. of the most fun parts, I think. And, and designing them is fun. Yeah. It definitely is very fun. Because you just, 
their personality shines. Which, I mean, I get it right now. They're all in the same clothing because they're in school. But yeah. <laughs> yeah. From what we, from what, mm, you'll see different things later on. Don't worry. Don't you worry. Didn't you guys love whenever, did anyone notice whenever she got hit with the magic touch and her, like, and she, like, bent over did you notice how i put like the red the in red the quarters yeah 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 like like it was like an attack like she got hit i thought yeah. that was fun yes uh <laughs> jenny that they are uh, myth minions actually which is yes that's so fun that you mentioned that yes I i'm glad you caught on yes yeah, she's storm but she's got her minions and they're her that's they're both myth i'm glad that you caught on to that yes they have <laughs> names as well but Yes. We can, I think we can say them. Yeah, we can say the names. Yeah. This one is Devin, and this one is Gigi. You'll see them. You'll see them more. Yes. The Myth Minions. And if you all want to know, Gigi is voiced by Mona. Yes! yes Mona! Here, let's, let's listen to it again. Mona's little line, she goes, <laughs> Totally. <laughs> <laughs> it was so cute. Let me listen to it. I don't even know. I think Mona had to go, but... Yeah, they're gonna stick out like a sore thumb. Now you really have all eyes on you. And not in a good way. Leave her alone, Sarah. She didn't fail it. She's just... She's just what? Inconclusive. <laughs> I'd be so embarrassed if I were you. Oh, first day at Ravenwood, and you're already behind. What a shame. You know everyone here is talking about you, right? <laughs> <laughs> totally. <laughs> Couldn't be me. Well, now we're all gonna be behind because someone is holding us back from our tour. <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> Oops. Come on, guys. Later. Failure. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. It was so fun. <laughs> I loved it. I know, yeah. she was so good. Also, what's so um, funny is I logged on the Wiz, obviously, um, to stand in the comments with you, and I was in my character selection screen, and all of my characters are still dressed up as the characters Aww. from episode one. Oh that's yeah, so sweet. Yeah, that's funny. I had my character had the same outfit. I was like, oh, gotta take that off. Yeah, yeah one of my, my storm, characters. My storm has... is currently Sarah. So if you want to see I, Sarah, my again. my myth is currently Sarah. My girl is currently Sarah. Let's all just oh become my God. Sarah. <laughs> right, let's go. Let's we all get have... Sarah. So many like, Sarahs! Look at I'm Sarah. <laughs> I get look Sarah at... real quick. Okay, let me show you. My myth is, or yeah, my myth is literally dressed up as Sarah right now. <laughs> oh, I'm I dead. have the outfit. Oh my <laughs> god. If you guys want to see Sarah's true glory, then you can see it firsthand. In Wizard <laughs> 101 right now. Yay! Wizard 101. Who voices the mean storm girl? That's Aphrodite. Um, I don't think that they're here in, I don't think that they're here in chat, but here's their Twitter. I'll link you to their Twitter. Yeah, they did a really good job. Yeah, yes. they're really talented. There you go. Oh my gosh, Sarah's outfit! <laughs> <laughs> Love it. <laughs> oh my god, you yeah. are here! Oh my god, hey! Look, everyone loves you! You did so good! You did amazing. How, what yeah. were your thoughts on it, Aphrodite? Oh my god, hi Sarah. The real oh yeah, hi, Sarah. Sarah Steele is here? <laughs> Imagine y'all do something where Luna's dreams become real. You are so talented <laughs> with your um, predictions. I'll just say that. I'll just say that. You've got lots of good ideas. We, um, I've got some that are similar to yours. We'll just put that there. Yeah. Will you need more voice actors later on as Raven Rising episodes are made or planned out? Uh, mm, I don't think I'll need any for a long time. If I do need some, then you'll know. I'll make it um, an announcement, but I don't think I'll need any for a long time. Yeah, it'll be a while because we have actually a lot of students and a lot of side characters that we do yes. need to have a position for. Yeah. So unfortunately, we probably won't need any more voice actors later on, unfortunately. But you can always help, like Ash said earlier, with production. So like if you need to want to hop online and like help with the character or whatever, you will gladly, we gladly welcome it and you will be credited at the end still. So. Yes. Oh my god, here's another Sarah. There's literally <laughs> three Sarahs right here. <laughs> I, I, 
changed my character's like other stuff features back, but <laughs> the, the outfit I didn't. Asta is literally my storm as well. Aww, I love that so much. It's so fun. I'd be happy to help whoever I can. Oh, thank you. I think also I the most so help that anyone can do is just watching it. Yeah. Yes. Like that's Retweeting, the best support. Watching. Mm -hmm. I mean, making fan art or just talking about it helps out a lot more than you can think. Mm -hmm. Yes, I agree. And I see Aww. on Twitter also that people are talking about it. So. Yeah. Wow. There's um 111 likes on it already. That's awesome. The... Yeah. I'm so happy episode. people like it. Me too. Daniel Sunsword, did you watch it? What'd you think? Did you love it? <laughs> Question, are there more people playing Wiz now or back then? Back in the day, uh, I think Wiz was definitely more popular back in the day. It's kind of like not nearly as popular anymore. Um... Hmm. 245 views already. Aww. I'm so I'm so glad that people like it. I'm really happy with it. Actually, yeah, it says is definitely a popular character. 449 views. It says it, it might be like glitched for you guys, but I'm so happy, so happy. Um. Not someone promoting in the comments. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> The studio dashboard gives- yeah, that's what I'm looking at right now. Yay. I'm so happy, you guys. I- this is like a- it's so nice to, like, think of something in your head and then put in so much time to, like, creating it, like, creating, like, a visual for it. It just- it's literally perfect. It's literally exactly what I had imagined in my head. That's why I- yeah. I know people were, like, offering to, like, help with stuff and I'm like, you are so sweet, but that, like, I just don't think that it's going to be exactly how my head pictures it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's why, yeah, like, a lot of people like, try to help. Go ahead. Yeah. Like, I think also right now, this is a bit off topic, but it's going back to voice actors. But now that, like, I've heard everyone in action from the first episode, it's going to be so much easier to write those characters, even, oh, yeah. like, continuously yeah. now. Yes, I agree. So thanks everyone for doing a great job. Oh yeah. <laughs> My I accidentally switched realms. I'm oh. back here in Pixie, but everyone's left. Oh, gosh. <laughs> everyone's gone. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty bad. <laughs> They're lovely. like, um, it's over. It's the watch party's over. <laughs> it was it was like so funny though. Well not funny, but it's like I feel like it was so awesome that like people wanted to be involved so much in trying to help us. Like I swear, oh, like no. like we had like like so many people going like, I want to help, let me help, let me help, let me help. And we're like, we love that you want to help, but we can't really like find a, something for you to do to help. But yeah. like, you know, just you being here, we're just like, you guys being here helps. It's like enough help, you know, because we love you guys being here. And especially for the voice actors, them being there was huge. So just yes. them helping us was huge. Just, you know, that's all they needed to do, just, you know, do that, you know, which helped a lot. I guess now I kind of, um, I've been saving something that I wanted to show, but I wasn't sure when to show it, but, um, Aphrodite commissioned a oh, yeah. artist, and I don't know their name. Do you know their name, Kamoka? Oh, I, f I had their name somewhere. Let me go, let me go pull um, it. Hold on. Okay. And scroll. Scrolling yes. down. Yeah, this person who um commissioned who like who like did these art works are, like super professional. Oh, Moon I think Justina. I, yeah, Moon Justina. Ooh, okay. I mean, like link it unless you link it. So. She okay. is such a talented artist. The, I'm gonna put the all of the art, oh. the fan art on the stream. Um, I I'm. Linked it. Oh, thank you. I'm in the process of um, putting this together to make a wallpaper for fans to use if they'd like to, um, of all the different characters together. And oh my god, I just love them so much. Look how beautiful they are. I'm so obsessed with them. Like, just, they're so pretty. Is it, do you think I should come back to Wiz? Is it worth starting over? Um, Luna is so pretty. Right. I know, right? I love her. 
It's up to you. If you feel like you want to play again, then do it. I mean, at the moment, I'm kind of like doing like end game stuff, so I, I'm not really enjoying the game itself that much, but I enjoy stuff like this a lot, because like, it gives me a reason to log on, even if it's not actually playing the game. Um, but yeah, I don't know. It's kind of like a relative thing. I'm, I don't enjoy like end game stuff as much anymore. If I could marry Sebastian, I would marry him. Dude, he's so hot. <laughs> don't tell my fiance, but I will. Here, let me hold on real quick. Let me see. Where where is it? Okay, so like this is the person who made it. If you guys want to follow them, Moon Destina. If you guys want to follow them, there's their Twitter. Highly recommend following them. They are amazing artists. Yes, I love it. Um, Shadow Wears, uh, you can probably expect the next episode in about two to four weeks. Yes. These, okay, this okay. artist is so good. It's like so professional. It's like, right? Wait, wait, where's, where's, um, where's, uh, we're missing one. I, I got them on the screen now. It just took me a second to find it. Oh, Dylan, we love him. Yeah. Yes. It took me a second to find Dylan, but I got him now. <laughs> <laughs> me. <laughs> <laughs> when Dylan but... comes to life, he will be my favorite character. Yeah, he'll be a good character. There's so many good characters. I love their specific flowers. Um, I'm so glad that you noticed that. And also, Sebastian, he has a um phoenix feather, which is really cool. Like it's like um from a phoenix. If that's not obvious, yeah, because I just said it. But, but also the detail cool. of like the fire coming off as his hat. I know, yeah. right? Yeah. Aphrodite could probably talk about it in chat, but I know they said that they commissioned this person to do this amazing art, and they they like they went like if you look at the hats, they talked about they wanted to make the hats very big and very like fun, which I love that. Like their characters are exaggerated. The hats are big, and it's so fun. And then the flowers and the details, it's all amazing. It's super professional. It's amazing work. Yeah, and they all have like their own different flowers too. Like the one that Luna has, um, oh my god, it's like a moon. I think it's literally called like a moon flower or something. Yeah, it's like yeah. beautiful. And then Cassie's is like a sunflower. Um, Love it. Mia, left from right, uh, it's Sarah, then Dylan, then Luna, then Sebastian. Then Cassie and then Erica. Yep. Aren't they so pretty? I love them. Aphrodite said we wanted to add little details to each of the characters, and the artist is amazing, paying attention to detail. They are amazing. It's For it's real. amazing. It's like a professional, hundred yeah, percent. Yeah, it's like when we like we saw the entire process of them being done, and I was just in awe every single time Aphrodite sent a new picture. Yeah. I love them so much. They're like, and you they're like our babies. Right? Oh my god, fan art can now be posted as right. well. Yes, fan yes! art can be posted and will be retweeted on the Twitter. Yes. Mm -hmm. And I mean, they, they even have makeup on. Like, oh, isn't that I didn't crazy? notice that. I yeah, they have that. makeup and um, nails. They oh have... yeah, the nails. Yes. Oh, look at the nails, guys. Yeah. Cassie's nails. Iconic. It's so perfect. I, also, I love Cassie's hair. Yes, it's super fluffy. Aphrodite says, yeah, Sarah has a rose, Luna has a sun moon flower, Cassie has a sunflower, and Erica has a poppy, I believe. Sebastian's feather Aww. is a phoenix, and Dylan's is a raven feather. Wow. It's literally so perfect. That's amazing. I also like how the girls have, like, flowers, and then the boys have, like, feathers. Yeah. Well, th that was based off of the real elegant hats in-game, but, like, the real elegant hats in-game obviously can't shoot their own feathers or their own um, flowers. So that, anyone, that was just a cool little twist on that. I don't remember hat. what the flying cat pets are called. Uh, they're called beasts in Wiz. They were just like, they had like a first name and then their other name was just Beast, I believe. Oh. Genevieve. There was one of them with a moon on its head. Do you remember that? Like years ago when they were like the Raven Wiz. Oh yeah, I like remember mystical. those. I think they were the, mystical beasts beast. or something. I, um, I know exactly what you're talking about. Yeah. Um, guys, I lost my whiz. <laughs> oh, oh my god. I, I also, oh. oh, I found it, okay. <laughs> Aphrodite said that 
We also gave Dylan some black nail polish. Scroll I ring saw. cut from his eyebrows for a bad bullet. That I is like the most iconic thing ever. And I, I Dylan love it. will be me. He's so, it's so evil. Fun. I love the details. They did an amazing job. And if you guys want to look more into the characters, you know, as to why they chose the details, you can look on the Twitter. It'll tell a little bit more about the characters and their personality. But oh my that, god, he's even got earrings. That spot on fits oh. Dylan. Look at he's that. He's so emo and yeah. I love it. He's very emo. He's just like me. I love that. He literally, this would be me as a wizard. Like, if I was in Wizard <laughs> 101, that is me. Right. So, I love it. Mona says I headcanon Dylan as bisexual. I don't actually, <laughs> we haven't given anyone anything like that, haven't we? Yeah, so we can't confirm anything at the moment, or specify at the yes. moment. Mm -hmm. Maybe one day we will. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah, Multigo, I do love it, because he's emo. <laughs> um, I don't know if there's anything else that I can think of. Um, well, I, I don't... I guess maybe we can talk about, I don't know if you want to talk about it, um, Sarah's design and how Aph Aphrodite actually helped make the character of his design. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so the characters, um, some of them changed a lot, but Aphrodite helped change Sarah. We made her biracial, and um, originally she was going to be Asian, but I realized that whenever you make characters in Wiz, you really, like, it's so hard to portray specific things with the limited options that they have like there's only like so many options for faces yeah. and it, it was just kind of difficult but we ended up changing her to be um biracial so she's like a biracial regina george and yeah. i kind of love that let it's me so, show you it's so fun because I, I think she she had aphrodite said she got inspiration from um wednesday because of one of the characters the sirens which so yes. we were like that, that's oh, an amazing Bianca. idea yeah, Bianca. Yes. It was Bianca. So, like, mm -hmm. that was the inspiration for Sarah, which we thought was amazing, and so we decided to go that way. Yes. Um, let me see if I can find what Sarah... I think also, uh, Cassie went through quite a bit of alterations as well. Mm-hmm. Yes. Because um, originally, she didn't look at all like that. Mm-hmm. Um, well, she did... Mm, she looked similar to that, but we went through a different... We went through... We had a conversation... And we decided to go with what she is now. Let me show you what Sarah originally looked like. I like her new character design. Yeah. But here's what her old one... I'll put the cards next to each other. Yeah. Here was her original card. And here is her updated card so it's like the same pose but we just changed her up a little bit yeah yeah I'm, I'm glad that you inspired too i'm glad that you were able to put some input there too and i, I like yes. the design i think it's a nice design and I, I i appreciate aphrodite helping us go in that towards that direction it's the, yeah. it was a nice direction <clears throat> me too i think also what's nice is you know the the voice actors of those characters you know, we didn't, mm -hmm. like, if they had felt like when they saw the character, like, they think something would have been better, like, we probably would have, you know, taken it into consideration and perhaps have changed it. So, mm -hmm. like, having Aphrodite, you know, have a say in it was, you know, really helpful because I feel like in characters like this, we can have them kind of reflect the voice actor themselves as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I think it's, I like when... You know, I, I, what is the word I'm trying to say? I can't do English at this time of night. Um, I appreciate it. Yeah. Yeah, I do too. Mia B plays, um, she asks, what is the number on the spell cards for? It is their age, actually. Um, each part of the card has a symbol mean something for the character. It's either what about the character or something that connects with them in a sense. But the numbers on the top left are usually the power picks, you know, for the spells on Wiz. But I decided to make it the ages because I think it'll be like easier for people to like, okay, what what, is, what are the ages of characters? So Sarah is sixteen. Mm -hmm. You did such a good job with it, though. Oh, like, something else you. is that um, 
Ravenwood High will not be a traditional um, high school. Oh yeah. Like it, it's not going to be a four year. You'll you'll realize that because yeah. whenever you start high school, you would start it at like age fourteen, and they're starting it at age sixteen at the moment. So it's not going to be a traditional high school. They're not starting it at age fourteen. Me and Ash, wasn't it like two days ago we were talking about this? And you, yeah. You were like, well, it's not traditional high school anymore. I was like, oh, it doesn't have to be. It's fantasy. Yeah, th this yeah. is Ravenwood High. This is not a normal high school. This yeah, is it's, a wizard school. Yeah, yeah it's, it's kind of a mix of like how the school, like the education system works here in the UK. Um, but then also a mix of America, American high school. Kind yeah. of that vibe. We're just kind of doing whatever we, yeah. whatever we can to make it make sense. Yeah, <laughs> we kind of just winged it. Also, yeah. I want to I want to add that like um, everything that we put into a character, like the ages and the symbols or like anything they're connected with, is all for a reason. And mm -hmm. you know, we didn't just you know slap an age like oh boom, sixteen. You know, mm -hmm. we're just everything we decided on is for a reason. And you will see yeah. as the story progresses, you know, why each character is a certain age. And if you look at and, yeah. all of their individual uh, character introduction cards as well, you can probably pick up a thing, I guess, about each character as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But we won't confirm it until it's out in yeah. an episode, so. Yeah. Because we're mean like that. <laughs> yeah. No, it's not that we're being mean, it's more about the fact that, you know, as Ash even said earlier, and, I mean, like, it even shows that me and Kamoka didn't even see anything else apart from the things we were involved in. Yeah. Ash wants it to be a surprise, and, you know, whilst we would love to talk about everything, it would ruin that, and, yeah. you know, with the reaction that everyone had from today, it just proves that keeping everything a secret is the way to go because then everyone's like wow so yeah because if you kind of like um we, if we tell everyone about what's gonna happen and all the stuff it kind of people are gonna be like oh i already read the description I, I don't need to even watch the series now you know i don't even need to like look at it but when you're like oh i want to know people are going to be more engaged and wanting to see it which is why we kept it for a secret even from she kept a secret from us even so it was more like a surprise which yeah. i think was a good option and a good idea yeah. And even yeah. the voice actors. You're so ugly. Like, you're you disgusting. I'm gonna kill you. Give me two hundred dollars. They only got yeah. their lines. Mm -hmm. So. Thank you for the dono. Well, they got. I say they didn't get the script. They got the parts that they needed. Um, but they didn't see the entire thing. Yes. Yeah. They. I kept. I kept everyone in the dark. Literally, I kept everyone in the dark. Even Troy. Like nobody. <laughs> nobody saw anything finished like it was all for me but i'm so happy with how it turned out i'm really happy with it Same. um i don't think that there i think we've touched on pretty much everything yeah. that there is to touch on i'm so yeah. glad that you guys enjoyed the first episode of ravenwood rising um subscribe and follow ravenwood rising on twitter we will be posting a second episode, um, hopefully sometime, I would say, maybe in May. Uh, it, it'll be in May, I'd say. Um, mm -hmm. So be on the lookout for that. I'm so glad that you guys enjoyed, and thank you Wait, for Ash. all of the support. Yeah? Everyone, before you go, you have to say congrats <laughs> for 400k. Yeah. No! Oh my god! Four, 400! Oh, 400k! I said, I said, I said 400k. Uh, yeah, 400k! Woo! Yeah, 100k. Come on, everyone, say Thank congrats. Thank you, everyone. Bring it in, bring it in. Thank you. Oh my god, it, it doesn't even feel real. I, um, I, I hit it today, and I didn't even get to, like, celebrate. Like, I, I recorded myself, though. I recorded myself hitting it. Um, I'll edit that and, and post it. Of you crying. I... <laughs> I didn't take a picture. For God's sake. <laughs> but I'll edit it into a video and post it in my Discord server. Um, but I didn't even really get to like fully absorb it. I was just 
same way whenever I hit like 30k, 40k, 50k, 60k, 70k. I, like I didn't even get to absorb it, but this one's big. And I'm, I'm literally going to take time to feel it tonight because I mean, this has been my goal feel since. It. Yeah, I am. <laughs> <laughs> this has been my goal since I started. Um, You're doing the same for you. Real. Also, I'm supposed to get a check mark by my name, I thought. Uh, you have I to don't... apply for it. Oh, okay, okay. So, apply. You just, I think you have to contact YouTube or something. Yeah, I think you also ap apply for the play button as well. Yeah, we'll do that. But yeah. anyway, thank you all so much. You are amazing. Yes, I do get a YouTube plaque. I have to play. I have to apply for it. Um, I, I was wondering how that worked, but I, I have to apply for it. So we'll do that. But anyway, it doesn't even feel real. Like I've been so focused on on making sure everything was perfect with the release today that I wasn't able to be excited. But I will. I'll be excited tonight <laughs> whenever I take time to decompress. But. Thank you all so much for 100k. Thank you for all the support, like the endless support. Thank you also for following me on like these little journeys that I do, like these projects. Like, I feel like I, I do little stuff like this, but this one's a big one. But anyway, thank you for the support. Thank you for everything. And thank you for loving me. I love you guys. <laughs> okay. <laughs> love you. Oh my God, I love you so much. And thank you to all of the donos tonight. Um, thank you, Syrian Prince. Thank you. Ronzel, thank you, Mona, thank you, MRX, thank you, Nicholas, thank you, Fanbase, thank you, Megan, um, thank you, uh, we got, oh, DJ Wards, and I think Alan donated, but for some reason those aren't showing up, but I know they donated. Um, and also thank you, Carisu, oh my god, thank you so much for everything, I love you guys so much, thank you for all the donos, join the Discord, and, um, I'll be live again tomorrow. I don't know what I'll be doing, but I'll be doing something. All right. Love you guys. Thank you. Bye.